Now, before I start, I, I want to admit something. Uh, I was a skeptic of Lean, of Six Sigma, of total quality management. I never thought that these initiatives really add value. And I thought, well, maybe it's a good idea to try something different this time. And hence, we started the engagement with, the, with NC and with the Mr. Levine. And we started the discussion, I think it was in February of, uh, of this year. You know, the normal engagement sessions, we talk about uh, the challenges that we have. They talk about the things they can do to help us come out from these challenges. So, February 2018 was where we had this initial discussion. Uh, we had uh, an official rollout in April. And then, as of today, I think it's a, it's a continuous process that we are going to continue. Uh, it's a journey that has a beginning, but does not have an end to it. The first thing that we realized was that there was a lot of wastage in our raw material usages. And in our industry, uh, the raw material constitutes up to 70% of our cost. Yeah? And really tackling that had double the, the, the effect of tackling anything else. So we spent a lot of time looking at our material and how to uh, reduce the wastage. We have six production lines. We started with the production line one, and uh, we found out that there was uh, a lot of small initiatives that can be included to our machinery that would save us two kilograms uh, of resin per pipe. And uh, we annual, on an annual basis, we produce uh, 300 kilometers of pipes, so that makes us you know, a significant uh, wastage uh, on a, each pipe uh, basis. So we started with line one. We implemented uh, this very simple solution. And then we uh, replicated the same on all other line production lines. And the improvement was uh, that our wastage uh, went down from 10% uh, to 3% uh, or 2.5%. Yeah. Uh, the savings was uh, 70,000 riyals. Uh, the other realization, uh, a significant realization with, uh, with Lean, uh, is that we identified that our business requires a lot of skills. But in CPI, these skills were inherited skills, i.e. they move from one person to another by verbal training, not by official uh, training scheme. And after a discussion and uh, after a lot of homework from uh, SSA and from my uh, organization leaders, we decided that having uh, an in-house school to build the skills of our employees was of immense importance. Direct benefit was around 100,000 riyals, but our potential benefit for next year is, is more than 200,000 riyals, and that is only by really creating a new mindset in the organization. And today I, I, I can confidently say that whether we have SSA with us or we do not have them, they were very successful in building that change in, in the mindset of our people. SSA's role was to make us change the way we think about our problems. We measure, I mean, whatever initiative we had, whatever problem we had, we converted them into a measurable uh, problem and once you can measure them, as Mr. Anif said, if you can measure them, then you can ultimately uh, solve them. 